become more of the person that I am. So I totally understand where you're coming from, and that's exactly why I come on as as much as I can, as much as I do, because it's not just about when you see a white person, they're instantly disrespecting black culture or whatever it may be. No, nah, it can sometimes just be a peaceful white person that, that doesn't really know. Like, I'm not going to fight where the hit came from. I'm not going to fight where the... This, I don't know. I'm uneducated. I don't know. But what I do know is that this is my... But it's, my, the thing is, there's a lot of white women that act like they are educated. Yeah, I do. And when we get to correcting them on it, they don't like that. Whoa, 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 They don't whoa. like that. The, the, wait, hold on. I have a question. Go ahead. Why are you talking? What you mean? Why am I talking? Because I'm trying like, to like, get like, her in, like in general, like in general, why, why are up, words the... forming and coming out of your mouth? Because she has a brain. And... Right. Thank you. Don't and you have a brain? Tongue. You also need a tongue. Don't oh, your wait, brain wait, tell wait. your mouth Do you to move? Need the, wait, you, wait, you need the white woman to speak for you? No, who needs a white woman to speak? Oh my God! Like, like is she, what are you is she answering about? for you? Hold up, hold up. Okay, on, hold see, on. I get it now. I on get it Black now. History I get it Month, now. this is what you're He's doing. He's the problem. <laughs> He's the problem. He does Wait, not so, 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 once again, once again, once again, <laughs> why, why are you talking? Like, what is your point? He does because not- the last girl y'all had on there, I don't know what her name is, but she was just yelling and rambling and not truly getting down to the bottom of the issue and one what is the letting issue her say her side and trying to understand okay why do you have the dress in the first place why what what is it the meaning for you i don't like to just look at people and judge a book by a cover i want to know why you she's got not a book it. oh my god <laughs> do you not understand the metaphor of judge a book by wait a hold cover? up danielle are you a book i can be if you want me to be Thank you. Okay. But Thank I don't you. think she's a book. Thank you. Aren't you a book? Don't you have no. chapters to your life? You do. You no. Do. I'm a, you no. do. Scholar's thing is, is to do this and see who he can wrap up. So, oh, I know. I know. But, <laughs> baby, you can't. You can't I, I don't take anything seriously. So, he let's get down to the root of the all. issue. Should Danielle change her name to Black Queen Danielle? What no. is your opinion? No, she doesn't even feel comfortable with changing her name to Black Dan- Queen Danielle. So why would you even make that an option? Okay, okay. So Danielle, the Black Queen? No, Danielle, the I don't give a fuck who gives a porn. gives a flying flip about my hair. I'm gonna rock my hair how I want to rock it. That's who she is. That's my complete. I, the first thing I asked her. Was why do you have the dress in the first place? Uh, okay, okay, okay. My my, my next question is: Do you think Danielle? Do you think? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, do you think Danielle should be the spokesperson for Black History Month? Yes or no? no why? why would she be the spokesperson for Black History Month? Did why she come out she? of a black vagina? Did she come from I, a set of black balls? She did not, sir. <laughs> she did not. So why would she be the spokesperson? <laughs> Hell, uh, we, uh, we, I don't want. I don't even want another black person speaking for me because I can speak for myself and how I feel. Mm-hmm. I don't need another black person telling me, "Oh, you need to hate white people just because they want to wear certain things from our culture." No, get the understanding. Now, if it's a situation to where they just want to be in the culture because it's cool and it's a trending thing right now, that's what I have an issue with. But yeah. people who actually take the time to say, "Hey," I seen these dress. I think they cool. I like it. I want to rock it. The actual white women that go to black professionals to get their hair done properly and don't just let their friend Sally do some BS in their hair. I can respect that. But I did my hair by myself. Well, <laughs> maybe, that, and maybe you need to go to someone to maybe they can give you more tips to well fix what- it. You know what it is? I do it myself, and I just want to be able to have the journey by myself. So I yeah. I'm, I make the lock extensions with, with real human hair. And what I've realized is I have to start to try to connect these somehow, take them out, reconnect them, redo them, because they're like this one right here, it's just, it's just too thin. Yeah. And if I could connect these two together like that, I feel like it would be aesthetically like better and then also it would have more but i still would recommend going to someone who specializes girl i am a broke white girl i don't have money no 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 not even make an appointment just to do like uh, a consultate a consultation to maybe they could say okay put this product on your hair since you have finer hair like and that's the other thing 
braids and things like that, they are considered pr- protective styles for our hair. Yeah. Sometimes the sun is a little harsher on our hair. That's why we put it up. And in some, I am 100% natural. I haven't had a perm in over 11, 12 years. If you don't know what a perm is, it's a relaxer. It, it straightens, you know, black people's hair out. But I haven't had that in over 11 years. In the summertime, I cannot wear my natural hair because it doesn't last two seconds outside with the humidity. Or if it's raining and I step outside, I instantly look like a poodle. Oh. So, you know, I'm just saying maybe they can, they can give you I that. extra I like, tips. You know, I need someone to be like, yo, you're white, your hair's like this. Use this, use this without having any malice behind it. You know what and I mean? Too, yeah, and too, it's about people growing the hell up as well. Like, people, come on, grow, grow up. People going wear what they want to wear, do what they want to do. I'm from the South again, so I see all type of craziness, okay? I see it all. At, if you go to a white tattoo shop down here, half of the dudes in there might have dreads. So, you know, it's it's just about people it's about opening respect. their eyes and not just immediately saying, oh, you're white, you can't wear that. Okay, then people can say, oh, you're black, you shouldn't have blonde hair. Like, yeah, I have never seen a naturally blonde person, blonde black person, besides like, um, like it's a whole island with blonde people and blue hair. Yeah, but that's about it. I've never naturally seen a black blonde. Yeah, it, it's it's un it's uncommon. I mean, but it is it is a thing. But he has no, to stop revving people up. <laughs> Yeah, he has to stop because they can even get on him and say, "Hey, I've never seen a Mexican or Latino with blue eyes." Now, how would you feel about that? If the white people say, "Oh, now you want to be white because you have blue eyes," wait, 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 but but in that case, my face is so like perfect that it doesn't even matter anymore. (laughs) It's perfect. Your little um thing not even all the way connecting. You got to get what that thing? connected to more. Wait, oh, you what thing are you like talking about? Eyebrows. I don't know what that's called. He, he smiles. Go thingy. His teeth. If, to be real, as soon as he smiles, the teeth just erase the rest of it. You know, so. Wait, what teeth, thing are you talking about? Up? You oh, haven't no, seen my thing. Your strip. Your, your strip. Oh, you wanted to my look strip. like My strip. That's what you call it? I just called it a strip, bro. What, I don't know what to call it. I don't know what it's called well, either. <laughs> I have a go What is supposed to be connecting to? It's just a line. It's not... It ain't dark enough yet. It need to darken up a little bit towards the bottom. I like it. Why? I cut it off right here. Why would I darken? Okay, well, that's why I asked you. Down my did neck. you want it to look like your eyebrows? Oh, that'd be cool though if you did make it go down your neck. Oh, that'd be so cool. That would be a whole lot. <laughs> that'd be weird. I would do it. I would do it. <sighs> that'd be okay, weird. I'm leaving this conversation. I hope you have a really nice day. I'm going to go have me a devil's lettuce moment. So goodbye, people. <laughs> so I think money, I, I think money, her vote was for Danielle, the black queen. So there no, you go. You it got one vote my in. vote was for Danielle. I don't care what nobody say. The melanin and queen? I'm going to do the, what I want to do. The lack of melanin queen. <laughs> And all the people with the happy Black History Month, we understand people, but it's grow up. Like, I, I had some melanin in me. <laughs> grow up. And, and oh, wait, I, one more thing before I leave. White women listening, please stop dating these Black men and changing your whole self up just because you got a little piece of Black meat inside you, okay? And that go for dating Mexican men as well. Please stop thinking that y'all are a senior reader just because you got a Miguel, okay? <laughs> it's okay to stay in your white culture. It's okay. It's I, usually okay. Date Puerto Re- I usually date Puerto Rican guys, and I can't be Puerto Rican if I try. Yeah, but it's some that immediately they go out and get them a Puerto Rican flag. They immediately <laughs> start making all type of Puerto Rican food. And, you know, that's it, my- it gets a little ridiculous. It's funny. It's crazy. Somebody said, "What exactly is white American culture?" It, white American culture is everything. I mean, I think we all have in America. We all share culture. Unfortunately, if if people don't like it, then they can put themselves in a box. I mean, that's it's. Unfortunately, people have to understand that there are white people that support black people that don't have any malice. Don't 
have any bad intent. You know, we're all here to be peaceful. Like she, you know, talk about devil's lettuce. Let's let's get down. You know, <laughs> I, it's all about one love. It's, it's about peaceful, and and that's what it has to be about. There's people trying to divide when, you you know, the black people back in the day fought for unity, and now it's like they're doing the opposite. It's you know, it's just because not- you have the ones that's 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 misappropriating the culture. Yeah, and I believe, and that's the problem that we're having. And then on top of that, okay, I, I, I know you said the black on black crime, but more black people are getting killed by white people. If if you I sum mean, it all up in every state of the United States, like it's getting to the point to where other countries are speaking on what's happening here with um pro- police brutality and things like that. Well, so, wait, 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 wait. That's not true. But even if it wasn't or it was, it really doesn't matter. Who cares? Well, like, people true. are unalive in people in general. It doesn't really matter yes, what color yes, they are. That's the, a major that, 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 issue here. I in think the anybody States. who brings that up is a dummy. When somebody brings up the specific race of somebody who's unalive in somebody, well, I mean, how about it just, it just takes people unalive in people? to look up who, I, how many I, black uh, people get killed by cops, you know, how many black on black crimes are there? How many white on white crimes are there? How many Mexican on white crimes are there? How many Mexican and Mexican crimes are there? You know, you could say that in Los Angeles, they could say we have an issue with Mexican on Mexican crime, Latino on Mexican it's crime. Like gang crime, I think. Yes, that. like they can say that. I feel like it depends on the area that you are, that you are in within the United States. So, you can't say nobody is stupid for saying that and stuff like that. It, it's the area that you in that you're in. Like I mean, where I live what, in what, Atlanta, what? you can say yes, it's a lot of black on black crime. You can go to a little country town where it's nothing but white people, and you're gonna have a lot of white on white crime. So it's you know, yeah, the the crime issue here, the gun issue in America is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I it's think weird. Atlanta has an epidemic of guys wearing skirts. What do you think? Of guys wearing skirts? I haven't seen anybody in a skirt. <laughs> so Doesn't I'll... like Atlanta have an epidemic of like guys getting their nails done and like oh, getting their like, hair did? Don't talk about, it. Don't talk about like, it. Oh, I don't know. I'm just saying that, that that's the but, epidemic um, that I heard that's in Atlanta. <laughs> Well, we have a lot of um like a lot of what people they call who look it like here young is like a rock style mentality mm-hmm. again. So now you're getting into white culture with painting your nails, crumbing up on these white men would paint their nails black and things like that. You didn't see black men painting their nails. Would you, you date see? a man in the skirt? Uh I, sir, my man is from the hood of the hood of Atlanta, so he would not ever put on the skirt okay <laughs> i'm just gonna be one my man is from the west side of atlanta so pimping on the skirt is a big no-no <laughs> but um what if you what if you of, what if what if you woke up one day and he was like check this out and he was in the skirt and he was like i think this is fire what would he, you say he don't even talk like that so it wouldn't work <laughs> he, he don't even talk like that and he's a grown man so yeah no that's a lot of little boys um, but back to the whole nail painting thing and things like that. Um, it's kind of like a, a rock star lifestyle here in Atlanta. Everybody's a celebrity. You could be broke as hell. You are a celebrity. That's why a lot of celebrities live here in a- Atlanta because they could walk around peacefully and nobody's going to bother them because you're a celebrity. And so am I, you know, that's how we feel. Um, a lot of the men, um, like the black nail paint and stuff, sometimes it's a culture thing. I mean, like a culture, a religion thing. Um, it's something called ephi. So the higher you are in religion, you know, they paint their nails and things like that. Um, but yeah, yeah. I do you would see share a lot of... your makeup bag with your man? Bro, I don't I... wear makeup, boo. I'm I don't the... wear makeup. I'm 100% natural. I don't wear lashes. I don't when like I in, wigs. I, in, I don't like none of that stuff. Oh, somebody said black men paint their nails too. I'm in Atlanta. That's what I yes. heard about Atlanta. Listen, yes. I was in high school, okay, over, I don't even know how long ago. Pe- boys, men, they painted their nails. It was what it was. I mean, it's like a rock style type thing. I don't think yeah. it has to do with the color of the skin. It's just like the music and the light, the the clothes that they wear and stuff. And they're looking at people like Uzi, who has then his nails painted. And a lot of these big name artists that are painting their nails now. So and just like who, who Little Wayne's been painting painting his nails for a mad long time, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Yes. 
And two, I think, well, not even painted nails. I think a man who hands are manicured and look good, I think that turns any woman's on. So I think a lot of men are seeing that, like, hey, I see a lot of men now getting their feet done and things like that, you know? I think it's just them tapping into taking care of themselves, you know, saying, hey, my wife look good. Why I can't, you know, look good and my feet and hands feel good. And it's also tapping into being able to have the humility because a lot of men hold on to this masculine side of, right. you know, whatever. And to be able to put yourself in a room full of women and, you know, potentially have a man walk by and, and see another man getting their feet done or whatever it may be, you know, it's... It takes it takes a lot of humility for a man to and that's it's good to have that. It's good to be able to put yourself in a situation where you don't as a man, you don't care what other men think. Right. Oh. And that's more attractive than a man trying to follow trends. You yeah. know? Definitely. Definitely. So you got any more so questions? That's how Atlanta me? does it. <laughs> Atlanta just does what they want to do. And I picture Atlanta like there. when you go by the nail salon and the hair salon, there's a bunch of guys in there instead of girls. That's what I picture in Atlanta. <laughs> no, not at all. You will see you will see more women. Now, if you go to maybe like Midtown Buckhead, you might, you know, depending on the day, you might. Atlantic Station, you might. Um, but it's just the fact that we let people to be themselves here, you know? And we're not going to judge you just because you're gay or just because you... Oh, like nobody said anything girls. about sexual just, orientation. I'm just saying that yeah. that has nothing to do with what I said. Yeah, I'm but just I'm, saying, I'm that's, saying what that's, I heard why, about Atlanta. that's why we have more openly free gay men, because we let them be them. That's how it is here, too. You know, it's so nice to see, like, two gay men being able to feel comfortable like holding hands and like being, you know, romantic in a way that's not, you know, not not even when it's a man and a girl, not too many people want to see too much um public uh, PDA <laughs> like that. But it's so nice to see two men being because I live in Salem and in Salem, Mass, it's a very high, you know, I don't know how they call it, but when if you're a gay man. Like my brother is gay and way long time ago, back in the 60s or 70s, he used to dress as a woman, but he was so afraid to go out and do that back then because it really frowned upon. But nowadays you can go and do whatever you want. And it's such an amazing thing because here in Salem, this, that diversity is so big. So when you walk down the street, it's just a great thing because everybody's just being themselves. No one's really judging anybody. You know, you see black people with mohawks and their nails painted and the long black coats. You see white people with the same clothes. You know, we're all we're all just together, smoking away. You know, just <laughs> and that's what it's about. And and we all try to help the homeless people because we're right near a homeless shelter. It's all about one love where we're at. We live in a community, and then up the street is where the projects are. And to be honest with you, we don't go up there because that's where, like, those people up there, they kind of protect the people that are, like, like don't bother anybody, you know, that mm -hmm. are, like, simple people. So if someone were to come, like, say, like, bother me or bother, like, these people come out and be like, nah, listen, this is our neighborhood. See you the fuck later. You ain't coming here from Lynn or from wherever you come from to fuck up our neighborhood. Get out. So we respect everybody's area and everybody. <laughs> stones and you know it's 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 nice it's nice that everybody can come to an understanding that we're all we're all peaceful and everybody can do their own thing right so what yeah, you how, that say? sounds like segregation what the, they tell you not to come into their neighborhood <laughs> no it's not like that at all we go to the park down there and everything but if you're like trying to cause trouble they're not just gonna let you walk down the street causing trouble i mean they're gonna say something to you you can walk way uptown like uptown somewhere and if you want to be someone that wants to cause trouble then okay you might get arrested but if you're causing trouble and you see someone and, and someone from down that area is from they're going to stop you before the police do because they don't want the police around they don't they don't want anybody around really they just want to be able to keep things under control i mean that's kind of how it is it's like a, a we're one big community i don't know 
Even like down the street when we have um, the park down there, they have like cookouts, all the Spanish, all the black, all the... I'll tell you the truth. A lot of white people are afraid to go out and unless they feel included. Um, but we do barbecues, all types of things right out in the open. The whole, it's like a block party. It, what, it, what's the fear? I, I, I don't know. I have what's no- the fear? Just that you see a lot of blacks and Mexicans gathered together. What's the fear? Walk I, up and I, say, I, Hey, I'm what's party. going on? I'm My name is such and such. I want to join, you know? Yep. It, it should it should be no fear in just walking up to a group of people that you're not used to being around and saying, "Hey, I want to see what's up with, with what y'all got going on." Well, what's going with you know? it too is like the way that I I just walked up on it and they just you, they just hand you food, yeah, drunk, so they're dancing with you whether they know you or not, you know, and and it's it's just a fun time. It's it's nice, you know, but. It's true. A lot of white people are afraid to go down that area. So I don't know. I, I grew up around everybody. So yeah. And then another thing, it starts at home. You know, the ones that's not teaching their kids, you know, color is not a thing. Oh, I don't see color. You do see color. If you tell your kids, oh, you don't see color. They see color. They see color. Period. It starts at home. Yeah. And, and, and it, it, actually is a trickle down effect because their parents didn't teach them their parents we know <laughs> didn't teach them so see i mean what i teach i don't know what to teach my daughter to be honest with you but what i do know to, te- to teach her is you know to accept everybody and the only thing that i can say about different colored skin is it's 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 just all it's it's like it's like opening a crayon box i mean you have all these beautiful colors that you can use so for me and my daughter it's not that we don't see color but we see it that's just it we see it and it's beautiful yeah but you could just teach her like you stand up if you see anything wrong happening to that anybody inevitable for anybody yeah that, that should be a that should be yeah a, matter what color you are because i I, my son he goes to a um it's a predominantly black school but there are a couple of um there are more like mexican kids than there is white kids there um and they have the issue as well and i constantly teach him you see somebody doing something wrong to someone else i don't care what it is if you see somebody speaking foul to someone else you stand up and you say something and, yeah. it, and even if it's not even about race, you stand up and you say something and you do what's right. You don't speak ill to people. Just like um, hate. I teach my kids, you don't hate anyone. You might can dislike someone, but you love everybody. Yeah. You know? Hate is so. a strong word. I tell my daughter, hate's worse than saying the F word. Yeah. Hate anybody. It's, it's, it's a, that's a strong, bold statement. Oh, they hate him in the comments. <laughs> People love Scala. They, uh, they secretly really love him. You see all these right, little- people. He stop this- paying him. He stop paying him mine. He he has all these coins. You should. I'm not even saying anything. I'm listening. He don't mean no mind. They no, him. they 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 saying like, oh, he's not fine. Let's see his hairline. He was just um, on no hat on. I made him put. His- <laughs> I made him do it. Uh, somebody said we love a bald headed king. <laughs> I was, yeah, just, I, I, I was telling Danielle, Danielle, tell him how, how my hair is an afro when I grow that shit out. It's just so annoying. I can't do nothing with it. Yeah, so it's like a thin afro because it grows. Yeah, it's a thin hair. afro, whatever. I, I call it afro because it's so puffy. I can't do nothing with it. It really is. Like, I can't put no hats on it. It was like a year ago I decided to fucking just shave all that shit it's off. So it was so crazy. annoying. Shaving off all your hair, it's fine. I would never grow it out again. That was the one time I grew my hair down to my shoulders. It, it, you can't do nothing with it. I, could, I, could, I couldn't tie it up because it was so frizzy. It was like, it's like that, when it's All like that is shaking. taking care of your hair. Just, just. No, nah, that's too much. That, that, I told that's exactly you. why I just went bald because it is. I, I, I can't do none, none of that stuff. It's more easier just to shave it all off, and then I don't have to worry about nothing. And then you can worry more about your teeth. Right. There you go. Yeah, because I got I got a brush four times a day. And that's enough right. time for me. We got to take notes. Exactly. Um, there's people that want to come in. I'm going to let somebody else in too. All right.
Scala, have you ever bleached your teeth? Uh, I get it cleaned. I don't, I'm not sure. I, I don't even. Can you bleach your teeth? I never heard of that. You can. You I can. never heard of that. I think you can, bro. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> So I, like I never heard of that. I just clean it. Yo, it's so weird because you know what? Like, this is so weird to talk about, but it's like people don't brush their teeth twice a day. There's a lot of people who just brush their teeth when they wake up and shit. Like, I brush my shit twice a day. That, that's about all I do. Every time after Nothing the- else. I, actually, I forgot to brush my teeth today, but I'm about to go do it. All right. I'm letting somebody else come in. I have to brush my teeth before I smoke. Oh, what happened? She left. She said she was out. Oh, okay. Hi. Hi. How old is she? So I do I do have a problem with you, but I have a problem with him more than I have a problem with you because of stuff he said. When that other what did I say? Me. So why were you talking about like stuff about like why she here in America when she's not supposed to be here? When watched your hair in America? What do you mean? Yeah, you were talking about, oh, I'm Native American. None of y'all supposed to be here, stuff like that. Like, Exactly. What about it? What do you mean? Exactly what I said. Why would you say that? You know how ignorant because you Because I formed you know the words in my brain, and then that? I articulated it out of my mouth, and then my you vocals decided to project it out to cute. create a sound that you could understand and hear, and that's cute. how it happened. Gala, I'm going to use the bathroom real quick, okay? Yeah, let me Thank talk you for telling me, Danielle. Me Every time now. Danielle uses the bathroom, I, she has why to tell me. And I, listen, I will be in the bathroom talking to you. So All you right, know. make sure you let me know when you're done. I need to okay. know. I will. Mm-hmm. All right. So why would you say that? Because I did. You acting as if we came here by ourselves. You did. No, we didn't. Do you even? Excuse me. No, we did not. Yes, you, you did. Idiot. Ain't <laughs> nobody come here by ourselves. Because, you know, like, the white people brought us over here. Ain't nobody came here. Ain't nobody went in the water, started swimming, and came over to America. Yes, you, you know did. that, right? Yeah, you did. Are you Are you dumb? You know what? You didn't come here by yourself, but uh, but but you know where you are going to go by yourself. I'm going to give you I'm gonna give you uh, two, two chances. You're only going to need one. Guess where you're going by yourself. Where? Say some racist, bitch. Go ahead. No, but but get, guess where you're going by yourself? Where? There, there's a mythical place called Bliggity Blockland, and you just won yourself a free trip. Have fun. Anyways. Mm-hmm. We'll just wait for Danielle to come back for the next person. If, if, if anybody catches her on a flight out, make sure that at least she knows that that's where she's going by herself. And she, and she earned that flight. I'm your travel agent to Bliggity Blockland. Make sure you pack light. Don't come back here on another account. Well, actually, you can't come back. I love blocking people twice. It's so much more fun, especially when they come back. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, I'm getting terrible with that. I I just need to block people just randomly. I don't know why. Why am I still chatting? Because you're still in here. Why are you still watching? It's weird. There's nothing going on. There's a big window and then there's me in the box. Like, this can't be that interesting. Yep, it's bliggity block land. That's where I send people to every time they talk crazy. First class flight. You blocked her because she... Pre- I actually don't even know what she was talking about. It just sounded so uninteresting to me that I, I, I just rather just send her off on her way. She was saying something. I actually don't even remember what she was saying, to be honest. like my, I just did not care at all. When is Lady going live? Uh, shit. What, what time is she? She goes live twice a day. She usually tells me between 1 and 2 and then 10. So maybe around then. Yeah, I was blo- I'm not going to argue with nobody. Yo, Danielle, I just sent somebody on a first class trip to Bliggity Blockland. Oh, gosh. <laughs> she was telling me that she they didn't she didn't come here by herself. But I told you, you, you know where you are going by yourself, though, right? To Bliggity Blockland. <laughs> That's where you're going by yourself all alone. <laughs> Someone else wants to she wasn't arguing. I don't know. Her voice was annoying. Something about her voice just didn't sit well in my soul. 
Hi. Hi. I just want to start by saying peace, love, and light. Mm-hmm. I have no problems with um anyone. I love everybody. And I love that you're genu- genuinely yourself. But I just want to know if he's being funny. Like, with the black comments and things that he's saying, that's the only thing I'm genuinely concerned about with during this live. No. Like, wait, wait, wait. What, what comments? Just, like, the things that you're saying, like, oh, she should change her name to Black Queen and, and just things like that. Like, are you being funny or... He's not... Here, gonna... Here's what I think. Here's what I think. Like, gonna... I, I, I think... As far as Americans being born in America, neither whether it be black, white, Spanish, Asian, I think we should start looking at ourselves as Americans instead of looking at ourselves as what color or shade we are. Because black, I won't even say Latino because Latinos are like from Latin America or whatever, but I think black and white is like American creation which only occurs here. It's just it's just a weird thing to call somebody white or black because that really doesn't mean anything anywhere outside of the country. Like you don't go to any part of the world and nobody references themselves as black or white. Yeah, I agree. So, I've, I've heard that so before. That, that when I say something like that, as far as like, I'm a halfway joking, but I'm halfway saying like, why do we keep looking at stuff that differs ourselves? So, I'll even say the same thing. I'm more American than I am Latino American because I wasn't born there. I was raised here. I, my my culture is uh, the same as a black person's culture, is the same as a white person's culture. So when I say that we all have the same culture, that's what I mean when I say that. Because I can't lie and say like, oh, I'm really from Guatemala because my dad is, or I'm really from Ecuador because my mom is. I'm not. I wasn't born there. I wasn't raised in that culture. I was raised in American culture, just like anybody else who was born here was raised. And we got to take it as everything that we bring here or our parents bring here from other places, that's now American culture. Because it's a melting pot. There's no, there's like, you can't say the white people are the whatever of uh, of America. Because not, they, they, they weren't the first ones here. It was the Native Americans. But then when the white people came, everybody else came. So now everything that come here is just American culture. And we should just start saying we're Americans instead of saying we're shades of color. I would never agree. Like I say, because people, people use it. But white is not a thing. White is the absence of color. I mean, black Correct. is the absence of color. And white, what the hell does Correct. white mean? You can go, go to Ireland or Germany or like any, call them white and see what they say to you. They, they don't they, they don't refer to themselves or go to Jamaica and call somebody black or Africa. They don't call themselves that. Yeah, this is I only agree. America. I that. It's weird. They aren't categorized by skin color. Just... Yeah, they're not. Only here we do that dumb shit. That's why I'd be saying that. So if somebody asks me that, that's my explanation that I give. Yeah, I was just asking because I know usually I see her lives in there a lot about like, you know, black community, you know, the black topic and things like that. So when I just heard you throwing that out there, I just wanted to know if you were like genuinely, you know, saying that to be funny or was it, you know, because that's how I took it. But I just wanted to mm-hmm. I don't try to take things as they, as I hear it. I try to, you know. Just like with her hair, like I don't see why they're trying to make it so, you know, it's hair. I get what they're saying at the same time, but it's not that deep. Like I've seen, and I, you know, your spiritual journey, I I see people do it a lot and it's not nothing really, you're not doing it in a harmful way or to be disrespectful or anything like that. So I'm not sure why they even took it that way. Well, that's why I like to keep coming on here because, you know, I think it's really important for to realize and for me to get my point across because there are a lot of people that do like come on and they do their hair and then they start acting certain ways or start their, their whole self changes uh, that's just not who i am you know it's not there are a lot of people but i don't get that either like the acting white or acting black how can you act a color yeah this that's just a- ignorant i never got that either like oh she's trying to be black or she's trying to be is just trying to be yourself if you like something you like something And if trying to be black meant that I had, like, some color to my skin and some, like, you know, better hair than what I got, that would be awesome. Because the the lack of hair and the lack of skin color. But you have different hair texture anyway, so your hair isn't going to lock the same way as a person with 4C hair is going to lock. So that's another thing as well. Yeah. Exactly. But when people start saying things like, oh, you're try- just like with that period, ah, girl, they're like, she's trying to be black. I didn't take it as she's trying to be black because I don't speak like that. Yeah, I don't know. Listen, when, when, when people say that they're taking, like, not you specifically, but I read the comments when people are saying they're taking something. Look, I'm, I'm part native. Y'all, y'all already took everything from us. 
So forget all the past shit. That doesn't mean anything. As a person who was here first, <laughs> or one of the ancestors, or like one of my ancestors were here first, none of that means anything anymore. Everybody's already here, so nobody could take from anything anymore. This land was already taken. Forget all that. Now that we're all here, everything is shared, all the cultures. If you, if you feel that whatever you, uh, you, whatever you perceive to be your culture that you don't want to share, then leave. And go somewhere else where you, you don't think anybody would want to take your stuff or what you perceive to be your stuff. And yeah, I'm and I native and I say that. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't subscribe my way to that kind of thinking. Like, oh, man, this was ours. Man, forget all that. It already happened. It happened hundreds of years ago. Who cares? Yeah, and people just only think, you know, Caucasian people or white people can be racist. But I see it all the time with a lot of different cultures a lot of different skin colors everything i see it in our own black community where people are skin cis to other dark-skinned people because they're light lighter skin mm -hmm. so it's really just about you know how you perceive life and how you take things you know i don't know but so, mind body and soul it's all about your spirit you know and how you treat people and how you want to be treated correct correct I agree. I just it's just the comments. The comments are trying to make it seem like what it isn't. The comments are trying to to turn the you know, turn the conversation around. But when people know Scala, like when you just came up and you figured it out, you know what I mean? He 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 does what he does to people that wanna but he's actually extremely smart and he helps he helps he I don't know how to say it, but he helps bring me back so that I don't cause there are a lot of people on here that will make me feel bad. And I'm gullible as hell. I'll get I'll get roped in, and it's nice to have people that are willing to educate. Because I'm I'm all for the education. You know, people that are calm come in, ask questions. It's it's it's, it's not fun when people come in and they're just extremely negative. Yeah, just try to attack you before learning your yeah. story. It's not gonna get because I don't take it as you're trying to be black just because you have dreads or locks or. Yeah, I don't really know what being black would mean. Yeah, I, I say that I, all the time. I don't know how people could try to be white or try to just like if a black person speaks educated, people take it as they're trying to be white. I don't understand that either. And that's crazy. That's rude. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's a stereotype. I I, I, I seen like, that too. And then and then if you talk like ghetto, they say you're talking black or something. Like, right, that's right. Weird. That that's mad. And, 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 and if you're saying that about yourself, that's like super disrespectful. Like, well, why do you perceive white people to be educated and not black people? Or vice versa, or whatever. Like it's weird. Right. I've met both. I've met very educated black people, very educated white, very educated Hispanic people. Is, you know, it's just about your upbringing and how you carry yourself. Yep. But as far as trying to make it just seem like black people are ghetto and white people are above, is is that's not what it is. Yes. Yeah, we all we are all in the same situation. It just matters how much drive and how much ambition and how much we want to get up and get it. Right. I mean, and and the thing is, too, a lot, which is what I was saying, like, in the beginning of your live, when you were saying something about um, it's not, like, hard for Black people to get, like, jobs and things like that in the area that you're in. I understand, like, where that's coming from, at this, but at the same time, like, until you wake up Black, you wouldn't understand the things that we go through on a daily basis. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can say everybody's accepted, but until you actually wake up and and experience the day because we are looked at different. Yeah, see, I can't speak on that because I'm not black. You know what I mean? So that those are things that I don't, I don't put my two cents in on because I can't. It's Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I've woke up many times next to a black girl. Does that count as the same or no? Listen, I, I woke up next to a Hispanic before, but that didn't make me Hispanic. You know. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, just, just, man, I just, I didn't know if it was the same thing, because you were talking about waking up, so, like, many times I've been in, no, in, in I'm bed just with saying, a black like, girl, so. To walk in the shoes of a black person. I mean, I okay. can't even say it's easier for white people, because I never walk in the shoes of a white person.